All right, now I'm gonna show the apprentices and the, the guys, the beginners for high efficiency boilers. Uh, the three more, the three most frequent uh, problems with the navium. So, see. See that little screen? I'm going to pull it out. It's, it's a you know, Phillips head. You see that Phillips head there? Gotta be careful not to drop it behind the boiler because then it's gonna be a pain in the ass to grab it. So it's hard to do this in my hand. This one's clear because I just cleaned it. A lot of times, depending on where you're venting outside, you went when your your fresh air line is, your fresh air pipe. One is your fresh air, and one is your uh, exhaust. This I gotta look into this. That cat, that clamp doesn't look too good. Like it, I try to tighten it, and it's not. It's not tightening. It's not a. Uh, it's not clamping correctly. So I'm thinking I got CO there. I'm gonna check it with the combustion analyzer. See all that rust. So the screen, you clean it out. You put it back. Two more problems that I just noticed. They're too close together. Too close together, so the exhaust is going to get pulled in right back in by the fresh air. <clears throat> so we just found something together, and they don't have bird screens. So squirrels or birds can get in there. So screen, one of the most common problems. Second problem for the technicians. See this? This is a drain trap for the boiler drain for, for the exhaust condensation. This clip here. Pull it out. Usually I cleaned it already, but that that gets full of gunk all the way up to here. That, that's a trap right there. That right here. That white, that white tubing. So, second, that's, that's the second most common. Put it back. Clean it. You can vacuum it. What happens is if if it uh if it gets plugged up. You also gotta see it come out the other side of the pins. You see the pins come out the other side. You gotta make sure they come out the other side. If not, it'll leak. Make sure the gasket's in there. That's the second, that's the second most common problem. The boiler, the boiler condensation backs up. If we had, if the original installer installed. Uh, acid neutralizer sometimes the neutralizers get really plugged up so you got to change them that's two which we do we we do on maintenance number three which and for the homeowners I wouldn't do this 
don't do this. Uh, but um, this is for technicians, but and also technicians, you always have to have the power off and shut the gas off when you're servicing. So number three is this uh, the igniter here. See how corroded they get from turning on and off continuously throughout the years. Usually we replace them or we clean them. They're not too expensive, so shit, I just cut myself. <coughs> so you can do that. You can you can clean it with a wire brush, or you can place it. If so, if you get an error code, you clean it, and then it still doesn't come on. You got it. Replace it. So, give you three tips on the most common problems. Hopefully, that helps you, young guys. All right. So now I have to add that to the list. That I have to add the exhaust and the birch rings to the to the list that we have to look into. Okay, guys. Take care.